Well, God can take the death sentence off you, Felix, all because Jesus paid the fine in his life's blood, rose from the dead, defeated death, and all you have to do, according to the Bible, to find everlasting life is repent of your sins. The Bible says God commands all men everywhere to repent because he's appointed a day in which he'll judge the world in righteousness and put your trust in Jesus like you trust a parachute. If you follow our ministry, you'll probably know that I'm often accused of being a false prophet because I say repentance is turning from sin, and I call people to repentance to turn from sin. These people that accuse me say, no, repentance isn't turning from sin, it's merely a change of mind about Jesus. Well, let's look at the scriptures. Acts 3.26 Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, send him to bless you in turning away every one of you from his iniquities. The Word of God says in Acts chapter 3, verse 26, Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you. How? In turning away every one of you from his iniquities. This passage is often misunderstood and misused to assert that an individual must turn from their iniquities or turn from their sins in order to receive salvation. However, upon careful examination, it becomes clear what this passage is referring to. Let's read it again. Unto you first God, having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you in or by turning away every one of you from his iniquities. So according to this passage, Jesus Christ blesses us by turning away every one of us from our iniquities. Meaning what? Acts chapter 26 verse 18 says this, to open their eyes, don't miss this, and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto or to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins or forgiveness of iniquities and inheritance among them which are sanctified, how? By turning from sins? by self-reformation, by changing their behavior or lifestyle? No, by faith that is in me. We are saved by grace through faith alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. So watch this. The believer is turned from darkness to light, from the power of Satan to the power of God, from unrighteousness to the righteousness of God, which is by faith, they are turned away from their iniquities to the forgiveness of sins or the forgiveness of iniquities. Romans chapter 4, starting off in verse 6, the Bible says this, Even as David also describeth the blessedness of the man unto whom God imputeth righteousness without works, without turning from sins, without changing your lifestyle, without self-reformation. Verse 7, saying, blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven. Think about that. Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. So how did Jesus turn away every one of us from our iniquities? By forgiving our iniquities by covering our sins and by not imputing sin unto us. We were dead in trespasses and sins, but now we are quickened together with Christ. Christ blessed us, how? By turning away every one of us from our iniquities. The Lord hath laid on him the iniquity of us all. And thanks be to God that he did that. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven, I encourage you to watch the video in the description below, How to Be Saved from Hell, The Only Way to Heaven, and Be Saved Today. God bless.